Microsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Hi GI TV, I'm Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand welcoming you to another episode of Tactical Gearheads. This episode we're basing this loadout around the combat machine gas blowback rifle. Now I'm sure right off the back you can see I'm wearing a Die I4 face mask. I chose this just for its pure comfort alone. Uh, it's been suggested to me by Tim as well as Josh, our Predator, who both have Die I4s. Now I've seen them wearing them quite a bit and I gotta say it's definitely worth the money. Uh, now moving on from there, I actually decided to get an NC Stars 36 inch dual gun bag. Now I did that because uh, if I'm as if I'm adding this combat machine to my inventory, I've got a lot of airsoft guns and I definitely have one gun that doesn't have a bag to fit into. So I decided to get the, the NC Star 36 inch dual gun bag so I can have a gun bag for that other gun at home as well as this new purchase. It's always good to have a good uh, a gun bag for your airsoft guns. You want to treat them with safety and respect. Uh, that said, next up is my, my Milspec Monkey Cool Guy Hat Deluxe. I'm a big fan of these. They've got a lot of uh, Velcro real estate space. And my favorite part about it is the fact it doesn't have any negative or open space in the back. So when I'm wearing this backwards with my face mask, if I get shot right here, it's not going to contact directly on skin. So I like that a lot. I also added an American flag patch into this order uh, just for my hat and I added another one in so it's facing forward on my Condor Phantom soft shell. Uh, I always like to have, uh, well, the more American flags on my person the better, that's how I feel about it. Uh, now I added this Condor soft shell, Phantom soft shell jacket. Uh, now I realize it's hot right now but I've actually used this exact same jacket at operations when it is raining and it actually keeps me very comfortable. There are some ventilation pockets, <laughs> whoa, whoa, scared me, ventilation pockets on the armpits which makes makes it a lot more comfortable to wear, but also, like I said, in inclement weather, this is a great jacket to wear. I was definitely rocking one of these, uh, I believe around, um, let's see, Operation Red Storm about a year or two ago. Very comfortable, very usable, and it actually, because of how it feels, it actually gives you a little bit extra padding when you're wearing uh, chest gear. Uh, now that said, speaking of a chest rig, I'm actually wearing the Condor Molly Modular Chest Rig. Uh, it's a pretty cool rig and actually gives you a fair amount of space on the chest. Uh, I've actually attached three uh, SoTech Blocks Triple M4 Mag Pouches. Now, I like these for the fact that matters because they're very light. I base this loadout around this combat machine gas blowback and I really don't need a whole lot other than, you know, these M4 magazines. Uh, now, I've got about three M4 gas blowback rifle magazines for this G&G combat machine. Um, it's really all I'm gonna need. I've got three in the pouches, uh, or three in both of these pouches. So I've got six mags on my chest. I've actually got two mags and I've actually tried out something new, something I've never done before, the gas blowback rifle. And I actually really like how it works out. This is an M16 magazine clamp. I basically clamp two gas magazines on here and I can just switch back and forth in case I'm out of ammo. Now each of these magazines hold 30 rounds. So, you know, I might be going through them pretty quickly, but if I'm using my shots judiciously on semi-auto, I shouldn't have a problem. But at least the first two magazines, I'm gonna be able to transition incredibly quickly. And I like that. And I've got a dump pouch on my person. It's a Condor dump pouch. So when I'm done, I can, you know, put that back in the dump pouch and move onward. Um, now I've got, like I said, I've got two sets of three magazines on my chest in these SoTech Blocks triple M4 magazine pouches. Uh, in the other SoTech Blocks M4 triple magazine pouch, I've actually got a Thunderbee Shocker set. Now, I've never actually used this. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Uh, I've actually used Thunderbees in a Shocker configuration, but I've never used the exact Shocker set. It basically comes with the Thunderbee core itself as well as the grenade, and it comes with a tripwire setup. So if I'm playing in my local CQB field or in a field that allows the use of tripwire mines or tripwire Thunderbees, I can use that. It's pretty cool, and honestly, I just think it's really fun. A lot of my loadouts are not necessarily Milsim based. I'm really just concerned with having a lot of fun. And lately, especially with the summer, uh, the summer happening right right now and a heat wave, gas blowback rifles are coming into their own. Now without further ado, I've also got uh, Magpul ladder rail covers on here. These are obviously in tan. I believe this is a uh, Night Evolution M620C Scout Light. Now I've got a uh, Magpul uh, angled foregrip version 2 on here and I, I've got it set up so that I can easily press the switch on here and be able to move back and forth and switch back to thumb over bore shooting style. Uh, I really like this setup. It's really intuitive. Uh, it's not really, you know, a whole lot of bells and whistles, but it's exactly what I need and nothing else. Another thing I've got in here are these Lancer Tactical Half Finger Armored Gloves. I'm a big proponent of these because of the fact of the matter is that this plastic keeps you safe from 
most of the toughest BB hits you're going to have in close quarters battle or even field play, while at the same time, since it's half finger, it's going to leave your fingers dexterous enough to be able to handle small parts in case you need to, you know, load mags, fiddle with your flashlight, or any else, any other things you're going to need a lot of dexterity for in your fingertips. Now, I've got a Cobra one point bungee sling on here. I really like this because it's got a dual bungee system on here, which makes it stay pretty close to your person, and I can put it between these pouches and it'll keep it centered on my person so I'm not being dragged one way or the other. Um, I've also got some Condor Stealth Operator pants on. I'm a big fan of these for the fact that they've got a lot of pockets and I like the tan and green look. As you can see, you know, I've got a, a tan soft shell jacket, or excuse me, a green soft shell jacket, green gloves, and I've got uh, tan gear and tan furniture on my gun. I just think it's like a cool, um, I guess, juxtaposition of colors. Uh, but that said, uh, I'm also wearing my Under Armour Valsets or Under Armour Tactical Valsets boots. I'm a big fan of those because they're just so comfortable, so light, and so breathable. Um, now, the only other thing that I have failed to mention on this is the fact that I'm wearing a Condor Riggers belt. That's so I can attach the Condor dump or recovery pouch. Um, honestly, uh, normally I, I like taking a sidearm, but because I've got so many gas pullback rifle mags, I think I'll be fine. I've got my mags, I've got a single grenade, um, I've got my tactical light. I really don't need a whole lot else to be able to succeed on the battlefield in, I, in my own personal opinion. Um, so yeah, I highly suggest the Combat Machine Gas Pullback Rifle. What's my favorite part about this, which I don't think a lot of people know, is the fact that this gun costs $150. There's very few other options on, on the battlefield for a gas pullback rifle at that price. It's really awesome, and the kickback on this thing is awesome. Well, it's just, I don't know, I love blowback, and I think this is really great that you can get a gas blowback rifle at such an affordable price, and it makes it so much more important the fact that it's summer right now, gas blowback guns, uh, whether they're rifles, some machine guns, or pistols, are going to work impeccably if you're in the right temperature zone. Uh, but that said, this is my uh, this is my tactical gearhead loadout based on the Combat Machine Gas Blowback Rifle by g, &G. I highly suggest g, &G guns uh, for the fact of the matter is that they're great guns by themselves, but they also have this really cool program where if you type in the information on the little placard you get with the gun, you could possibly win a free gun by g, &G or even a free trip to Taiwan, which I think is pretty darn awesome. Anyway, I highly suggest any of the stuff on this loadout. I'm a big fan of it. I might try running this Shocker, uh, <laughs> Shocker Thunder Bee pretty soon. Well, I'm Bob the Anxman Hildebrand, and this, this is GITV.